Well, hello, friends. This is Kilobiot! Now, think about it, this is. She's following me with her junior's last fight, where he's totally outclassed Robert the Ghost Kilelo. The talks of a potential battle with Sal Canelabras have been very high. Well, that would be, you know, right now is the most interesting match that I see for Floyd. You know, there are problems that don't sit well with Calabrios. You know, first, who is Canelo to say he will only fight Mayweather at 154 pounds? Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's the one going on Mayweather, not the other way around! I know you guys are going to say, well, he went to 154 to fight Goto. Yes, that is true! But Goto also doesn't belong to you, it's 170, Now, the next day, and Floyd was the name, uh, you know, he's the one who called out Goto, so it was only right to go his way to Vision and fight him. Next, let's take a look at the past opponents Alvarez has faced. There was Austin Trump, Sosacito Lopez, Shane Mosley, Dermot Seaton, Alonzo Gomez, Ryan Rhodes, and Matthew Hatton. Now the only legitimate fight was Austin Trump who was still at weight. So if there's a fight between Mayweather and Alvarez, then it's just right or fair for Mayweather to give up nearly 25 pounds? Now, Canelo should be fighting somebody like Chad Dawson, Andre Ward, or Julio, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Now finally, if you were to compare their records, you know, Mayweather is 44-0 and, and Alvarez is 42-0. and all. It's clear to see that Alvarez has been fighting guys smaller than him and now never posed a threat. Now, if he wants to fight, then he needs to do what it takes to get the best. Just like Miguel Cotto did to get the shot at Pacquiao, which was coming down to 145 pounds.